Righto, you lot. I'm out and about. I've, I've come all the way down to South End. I've got a new hat. Look, bloody brilliant. Got, got a new hat. <laughs> so I've come all the way down to South End. Uh, there's meant to be some sort of eyeball one or something for. Oh, what's that all about? E612. Hold on, got an error on the camera. Right. For some reason, my camera malfunctioned and messed up, and I had all the error codes come up. And, um,. I had to reset it all to factory settings just then, so I've had to reset everything, so I don't know if everything's working. It might be different to usual, I don't know what's going on, really, I'm going to have to play around with it at home. It took me ages to set this bloody camera up. Anyway, where am I? I'm out of bat in South End. It's meant to be 38 years of CB radio today. I mean, I'm not frank, I don't care whether it's 38 or what, how many 8s it is or what it is. Some people agree, some people don't. But I'm out of bat, I've got an aerial on the, on the roof. Don't know if you saw it. I'll have a look later on. I've got the radio here. Um, it's on channel 38. There's a, there's some people chatting. It's meant to be. Roger, roger. I don't know why they chose South End. Oh, hello, bloody hell. There's meant to be an eyeball going on here today. Um, I'm not particularly interested in meeting people because uh, radio is about talking to people on the radio. But I thought I'd come down here. I don't know why they chose South End as, as like a place for radio because it's low obviously, sea level you know you think they'd pick a place up on a hill like but you know so I'm at, I'm at, I'm at the back of South End uh, there's a few things there and a few different things over there but uh, yeah so I'm going to have a drive about and see who I can talk to see who I can talk to and see what's going on but I'm going to try and work this camera out first right I think I've done, I don't know what I think I've done something anyway. Let's have a look, right? Uh, yeah, not a lot going on. I'm gonna go for another bit of a drive, but I'm just, I wanted to talk. To, I wanted to talk on radio, really. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna go up on a hill. Um, let's have a look. I'll show you what I've got on the roof. That's what we got up there. Look, got the two meter area as well. But it's a bit windy. I'm about to park down this little, little side road here at the moment. Um, you know. Got it on 38. There's another channel, uh, a USB channel as well. 38 on the mid block. So I'll go to 38 on the mid block in a minute and see who's about. See what the crack is, see what's going on. And uh, yeah, go from there. A little bit disappointed so far, to be honest. I've got myself um, a nice K Pi microphone to go with that radio. Because I bought an aesthetic. Oh, I'll have to show you a lot in another video. I bought an aesthetic one and it's crap. That's done by aesthetic, man. Got myself a little extension speaker there. Lovely jubbly. Let's see what's going on. There's some people chatting on the one nine. I'm just about here. Only a broke up there. So is there anyone else out there on the one nine? What's the crack before I go on? Oh there is. South End Seafront. Anyone down South End Seafront? Anybody down there on South End Seafront? Hello? Well, I'm going to go back down here now and see what the crack is down here. Um, I haven't seen a single car with an aerial on the top of it. I mean, usually that's a clean giveaway, you know, not everyone has massive aerials like what I am using at the moment, but you see some sort of aerial somewhere, but so far I haven't seen a dicky bird. Um, you know, so we'll go all the way back down here and see what the crack is and see what we can find. It should be out there on the sea. Love it. 
Lake Road, right down here to the proper seafront. This is like the Thorpe Bay sort of area at the moment. See what we can find. There's an interesting uh, aerial over there, look on that mark. Don't really know what that, what that, if that's a uh, held asphalt, but anyway. Been down here for a while now. Been down here for a few hours, well, a few hours, about an hour and a half. And the other dicky bird, I just spoke to me mate all the way up in uh, in London, near London. I can hear the old Murdoch going off, he can't hear me though. I can hear the old Murdoch. Hey, hey maniac in Adeline, copy maniac in Adeline. <laughs> Gotta love the Murdoch, ain't you? Anyway, well, I've had enough of being down South End. No one turned up to this supposed eyeball that was meant to be going on. I don't know where everyone is. I ain't seen any cars. Um, you know, that is what it is. You know, I wasn't expecting anyone to turn up, so I haven't seen any cars with any aerials on or anything, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm not going to waste the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to go up, going up on a big hill now. And it took me an hour to get here, so I'm going to drive an hour back. Um, and go and find a big hill and sit on a big hill and see what contacts I can get from the big hill because I don't want to waste the rest of the day, you know? single car with an aerial on top. Ah, it's starting to rain now. Yeah, I'm not complaining about, you know, all this, but I'm a little bit disappointed, like, I thought it was going to be a good day of radio, like, well, good afternoon of radio for me, anyway. So, that bloke oh, I found out about the, uh, the little Bible down here from, he obviously didn't turn up either, I suppose. He, he left a comment on one of my videos saying, oh, we're having a little meet-up down on the, down on the seafront. Do you, you know, you want to come along? So I thought, oh, well, I'll give it a go, but I ain't seen a single car with an aerial on yet. Like all these cars I'm looking at parked up in case they're parked up on the side, like, I've been all the way down to the other end. So I'm looking at every single car to see if any of them got aerials on, and none of them have, so, yeah. We'll keep going and we'll see. The old tide's up, cut the gaze walk down the path there, look. The tide's up, it's a bit choppy out there. The wind's probably, uh, it's supposed to be 50 mile an hour wind today, so. Yeah. Oh well. Here we go then. When I get back, when I get on top of the hill, um, whatever hill where I'm going to go. I'll, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk a bit more about the radio and the sort of setup that I've got. And I might better get some more contacts up there, because I ain't really had any people, a few local people, but they didn't really want to talk, you know, they were just having their own little conversation, that was pretty much it, so. Yeah, sweet, here we go then, look at the palm trees, look at the wind blowing the palm trees. Look. Right then, I'm on top of the hill now, top of, uh, top of a big hill, and it's just gone back to normal sort of thing, you know. Got the normal people on the one nine. Audio check, yeah. That's Road. Went to make, I was first on the way back, so I stopped in McDonald's to get a drink. I ain't getting no food from there, it's no crap, but I got a drink. And uh, yeah, so now I'm just gonna sit on top of the hill and see who I can talk to. See, see if anyone is on 38, but there we go. It's a cracking day, man. You know, it's rain, it rained on me way back, but it is what it is, isn't it, eh? I'm gonna have a bit of drink and then. Uh, yeah, we'll have a little. I'll show you the aerial that I've got on the roof. I might put the two meter one on the roof and see if I can get any two meter contacts. I don't know if I feel like it or not. We'll see what we'll see what a crack is there, my friend. Right, everyone's packing up. Well, there's no one here now. It's been raining and everything, but I'm going to be packing up and going home soon. Well, it's not the end of the day. I, I don't know if it well, might be a bit windy, but I've got the old aerial on the roof there. Look, all the way up there. Uh, that one's not being used. Um, I did have a two meter one, but I didn't put that on. So, getting near a bloody dicky bird though, man. There's people on the one nine now. There's people out there on the one. I'm going to come in here because you probably won't be able to hear me because of the wind out there. Let's turn that down. So, but it's not the end of the day, right? I'm, I'm going to go home in a minute because I don't want to, it's, you know. But one of them start, one of these net things 
um, the, thir the 38 year thing. One of them was meant to start at two o'clock in the afternoon. That's why I went down to South End Seafront at two o'clock. I didn't see a di dicky bird. If you went down there, let me know because I didn't see any cars with aerials on and I was driving up and down from two o'clock to about half past three. So that was a bit of a failure. Um, I'm talking to some people on the yeah, 109 now. Me, um, just under six pounds. Talking to some people on there now. Apparently some people did go there because they were seen or they put a picture on Facebook or something. I don't have Facebook so I can't have a look. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so another one's meant to start at seven o'clock at night and finish at like nine o'clock or whatever. So I might go and do that from home. But the trouble is I've got a lot of noise at home. Something's happened somewhere. Um, but I'll work all that out, that's not a problem. I'm not going to bother putting a two meter aerial on the roof. I've had enough of it for today. I'm, I'm, I've had enough of radio for today. So uh, I'm just going to go out and about. But yeah, there's the old, there's the radio. Uh, it's working very well. Got the meter down there. Um, sh you know, just to make sure. I like to have that in line. We're looking at stuff. I'll well, be sitting in the armchair. Yeah, yeah same here, mate. Well, yeah, well, I, I wouldn't have gone anyway if someone asked me because I knew for a fact that nobody would be there. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, the only thing that would amuse you is the amusement thingy box down there. Yeah. But who'd want to bleed and keep putting coins into a bloody thing <laughs> box when you could be chatting to someone? He's having a moan about the. Uh... Right down the other end of the sea, bro, anyway. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah he's mate, yeah. yeah. Oh, mate, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody turn up, I like that. Yeah, Dave, I, no, what I don't understand is why they chose South End. Yeah! Why they chose South End, when they could have chose Canby Island, or they could have chose up here. No, you don't understand. They chose South End for a radio sort of event, but, it, you know, you want something high. You'd think they would have chose a big hill somewhere, wouldn't you? Well, I would have thought they would have chose uh, Langdon Hills. Yeah, Langdon Hills, or just somewhere a bit high, rather than somewhere that's low. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know. Well, I mean, it's too goddamn drafty and cold and everything down at South and you've got the wind coming in from the sea, isn't it? Um, I mean, mate, if you're up at Lane and Hills, mate, well, it, well, it's far, far better, isn't it, up there? I mean, you've got all that field, they can park in, you know, and uh, jump out, eyeballs here and there, but nah, they, they're always picked down there, don't they? I don't know why. Oh, is it, you, is it the usual place then? I mean, I don't know, it's the first I've ever heard of it. They always pick South End then, do they? Majority of the times they do, yeah. Um, south End, yeah, because it's, uh, well, it's the main pin on the map, isn't it? Uh, and then you've got Canby Island, but south end's, the, uh, south end's the main pin on the map, isn't it? Oh, Roger. Oh, well, there we go. Never mind, eh? It's the way it is. <laughs> Well, apparently Lee or someone's gone down to South End or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh well, never mind. At least my camera's working alright now. I might do some footage um, if I go home when I go on the net later on tonight, but it's starting to get dark out here now. Well, it might not look like it on the camera because I've got the settings going up. Yeah, that can make it look a bit lighter, but uh, sweet. Bit of a failure, but there we go. Do you remember when I'd done the 37 year thing uh, last year? Um, 37 years of legal AM and SSB, I think it was, or something like that. And uh, But I did that from home, and that was a bit of a failure. I didn't hear a dicky bird. I'm not saying there's no one on. There's plenty of people on the radio. Um, but the trouble is, you get all, you get everyone going, oh, yeah, I'll get me radio out, and I go, but no one ever goes on like It's just a little bit weird. I don't understand it. Like, I got me mate Tony, right? He was like, oh, yeah, I'll come out with you on the 2nd of November. I know a dicky bird from him, you know. Uh, people say stuff, but they don't go and do it, you know. But, you know, I filled up with diesel. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story, right? I've got a bit of a diesel leak. And I'm sitting at South End, and I'm like, what's all that funny multicoloured water running down? Because it's raining, pissing down rain. I'm like, what's all that funny multicoloured water running down the road there? <laughs> I put £100 worth of diesel in it. I got like, well, <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's funny, man. Anyway, I'll catch you lot. Um, later on or another day um, wait, well, I'll catch you a lot later on I'll catch you a lot I'll, I'll go in the, I'll go when I go I'm going to shake and we'll have a chat in there or something probably um, 
I want to show you this microphone. It's a static microphone that turned out to be shit. Oh, it was absolutely diabolical. I don't understand, man. All made in China. Anyway, I'm going to pack all this radio gear up. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a little while. Anybody out there on the 38? Anyone out on the 38? Anyone out on 38? Hello? I got evacuated from the, uh, from the park, and I'm next to a big old church now. Um, because they come and lock the gate up in the park, so I've been trying to get people on the 38, but I can't hear a thing, man. So... I think what I'm going to end up doing is uh, going home. I'm going to go home after all. Come on, we'll try. Good afternoon, anyone out there on the 38? 38? Anyone out on the 38? 38? Who's about? Hello? No one out there, man. Not that I can hear, anyway. Loads of people on the one nine. Uh, I think to be honest, my noise. All right, there you lot. I, I'm I'm back at home now, so you know. But I thought what I'll do is I want to show you this bloody microphone. I bought this microphone. I mean, I didn't know that they were crap, but I bought this to go with the um with, with the capo radio. And uh, oh man, I bought it brand new from Knights. They're a bloody good shop. You know, it's not their fault, but. A static, I thought they were always meant to be really good. I mean, I'm not going to open this up now because I've packed it up ready to send it back. But, you know, I thought I always thought a static, American, American brand, I thought American made. No, it's made in bloody China. Uh, where did I see it? Somewhere. Uh, made in China, look. You know? Uh, and that definitely reflects in the quality because it's awful. It's all creaky and horrible in the hand, and it was wired up professionally by nights. Okay, so it's wired properly, and it worked on the radio. It worked perfectly well on the radio, but the trouble was, I, it just it properly sounded like that all the time, you know. Proper. It sounded like I sounded like a proper peg on my nose all the time. It was awful, and I played with all the mic gain settings on the radio, the mic gain settings on the microphone. I just couldn't get it to sound normal. Plugged in the standard mic, sounded normal. Plug in that shit thing, sounds shit, you know. So the quality of the microphone itself really lets it down physically, but it's just crap. And I fully understand some of you are going to say, well, it might not be compatible with that radio. It might not be compatible with that radio. But then I spoke to loads of other people on the radio and they were like, oh, no, no, I've had a static's gone downhill big time. A static really has. Back in the days when they were all made in America, they cared about quality. Nowadays, they don't care about any quality. That's an expensive microphone. That's about a 60 quid microphone now, that is. And, uh, you know, so don't buy one. Uh, you know, don't get an aesthetic microphone, one of the new ones. If you're going to get an aesthetic, get one of the older ones, American made ones. The new ones are shit. They're made in China. They're no good. So that's going back, and I'm going to get a refund on that. The one I have been using on this radio is a capo one. I've, I've paired the capo uh, microphone to the capo radio. Uh, these are very popular mics, you see them all over the place. I've never had one myself. Um, but when that one went tits up, I thought to myself, right, capo radio, let's pair up a capo microphone. So that's what I've gone and done. A uh, lot cheaper, 20 quid, does the job. People give me good reports on it all day long, well, all afternoon long I was out. So there we go. By the way, in case some of you are thinking, well, you was only down South End for two minutes. Well, I was down there from two o'clock. I got there at two o'clock. I got there at two o'clock um, and I left about half past three, roughly. I filmed loads. You could hear the old Murdoch in the background. I did loads and loads of filming. Um, filmed loads, just filmed random bits. Um, I was calling out, no one was coming back, so you're not going to. Prob I'm probably going to cut quite a lot of it out. Um, I'm only probably going to show you some interesting bits. But I was standing there for a long time, man, and I didn't see a dicky bird, so very disappointing. So there we go. Right, so we're on the 38, Channel 38. Uh, got me uh, mate. Not just you, um, there, Ben. Mate, 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 mate on here. Yeah, Roger, that, mate. Yeah, what I dare say is a bit of noise all over the place. Uh, yeah, I'm filming you, mate. Oh, no. No, cross me, make a bad hair. Struggling with a bit of noise at the moment. Uh, me and Matt are both struggling with it. Uh, 
get in there. We'll get in there. Yeah, well, I told you I was going to do a video there, Matt. Right? You should have, um, you know, dressed up. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, well, my video was a bit of a failure going down to South End, wasn't it? So I thought, you know, let's uh, do a little bit of home base and see what happens. Yeah, why not, Nick? Which Mills up here? I'll just check on Facebook again to see if there's any more stuff coming on. What's, what's the current type of thing? Now you see Matt's got Facebook. I ain't got Facebook, but Matt's the Facebooker, so he tells me what's going on, you know. I just explained to everyone there, Matt, that you're a Facebooker, you're a technical engineer, so you tell me what's the, what the crack is on the social media side of things, because I don't go anywhere near it. I do, just for the fun of it. No, and also, um, I help people, don't I, with epilepsy as well, so like, uh, I um, do that, go on there and Twitter, and just do it that way. Yeah, Roger Dodger, yeah. Oh well, there you go. Right, so, yeah, I'll see if I hear anyone, but, fed up with that, fed up with that noise, so I've got the squelch there, you know, that, usually I, usually nah, I, no, we've got there, anyone people on here, give us, um, want to copy Tangamite 901, it's actually Essex, South Essex, Kirsten. Yeah, Roger, yeah, it was, yeah. 38 mids. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this one. Do you know what I think the trouble is, right? I see a lot of them down south end, a lot of gays. I reckon they all just turn gay, like, you know? Right. No, there's a, there's a, there's a um, gay club in, in Baton, ain't there? Called Colours. Oh, well, that's it, I've had enough. I'm moving away. Yeah, why? You're oh, gay, mate. When I went to Landon Hills earlier, there were some two men walking, they walked in the woods in the dark. That was it. I had enough. I ran for my life. No, <laughs> talking, that's all I was doing. I was talking. Yeah, I know. That's it. I've had enough. I'm, I'm straight. I'm going to stay straight, I think. <laughs> Matt, you crack me up. Right, oh, you lot, let's see what the crack is. Yeah, but who is it? Oh, Blake, no. Ah, uh, it might be someone on it. So far. No break on it, no break on it. So far, we've got Matt come up. And no break on it, no break on it. Do you copy tank, Mike, nor that one? Nothing. Oh well. Right, you know, I'm going to call that a day for the video. I'm going to stay on the radio because uh, for another hour or so. But for the video, I'm going to call that a day. Was it a failure? It was a bit of fun for me. I had a bit of fun. I went out mobile, had some fun. Didn't know anyone. Didn't see anyone at South End. Whether anybody went, I have no idea. People I'm talking to on the radio reckon that people did go, but I certainly didn't see anyone. Drove up and down for anyway. Oh, that's some rubbish. So yeah. I'll catch you on the next one, toots, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, well, you know what it's like. They say they'll come back, but no one ever does. I reckon they're just having too much food. Anyway, catch you on the next one then, dudes, and have some fun. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself.